from Crypto Locker or Locky as it's also known. Uh, it's a piece of ransomware that has made the news today and prompted us to make this video for you to tell you how do you recover your data from, from such an event. The only real way to do that is to recover from a backup, but that backup must be an offline backup, one that isn't currently connected to your machine. If you've got a time machine capsule, if you're a Mac user, or you've got a USB drive, if you're a Windows user, there's a good chance it's going to encrypt all of that data if that is attached at the time you open the, uh, the, pit, the virus. So make sure you have two copies of your backup and that you have one safely set aside, which is offline or probably even better off site. And then that way you can always go back 24 hours to what you had before and recover. If you're thinking, well, I can use system restore. No, you can't because it will delete the restore points. If you're thinking you can go back to shadow copies. No, you can't because that will all be encrypted. Time machine will encrypt all of the previous versions of your Mac. Um, and some people use Dropbox as a method of um, backup. Uh, and I'd say to you that if you've got a Dropbox and, that's, and you're signed into that Dropbox, then it will encrypt the data that's in your Dropbox, could potentially then spread to other systems that are also using your shared Dropbox. So it's a real nasty one and it's going to catch some businesses out and it's going to cost businesses a lot of money. So you've got to make sure that you're okay by having two copies of the backup, one that was yesterday's backup, one that was the day before yesterday's, which was offline. And then at least you can go back. Uh, you know, you may lose a day or two of data, but that's nothing compared to losing everything. Is paying the ransom an answer? I would say not because once you pay the ransom, they will decrypt all your data for you and then probably next month encrypt it all again and say, can you give us twice as much or even three times as much next month, please? Um, so you're never gonna win that game. The, the, the only way to stay ahead of these people is to A, keep your system patched and up to date. B, make sure that you've got two backup copies, one that is offline and you'll be able to restore from that even if your system does get compromised. Remember, it can spread via a network, whether that's via cable or wireless. So those time machines that are wireless, yeah, it can still encrypt all of those as well. And it will try to encrypt data on any device that's connected to your network. So it's a real nasty one, but if you've got a good backup strategy in place, um, you'll, you'll be able to recover. If you're interested in uh, knowing more about backup strategies, then there's another video on that called the four elements to a good backup strategy. We also have a couple of other videos on backups on our channel, so subscribe to the channel check out those videos and if you've got any questions about this or you'll need our help or advice, please comment on this video. We'll be happy to answer those comments as quickly as we can. For now, all that's left for me to say is thanks for taking the time to watch.